Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, we're going to be jumping into another uh, draft here. Just wanted to... Uh, I'm still missing a lot of cards for the Minari United. So we're going to be doing some more drafts to see if we can get some, some more stuff coming out of that. So we're going to be doing a premier draft. Um, I've done enough enough traditional that I am. Um, I'm just very frustrated with that. So we're going to be doing a, a just a premier draft. Let's go see what we can do. Maybe try and rear draft a little bit less here. Um, try and try and get a little bit higher on the rankings because we do have a fair amount of what we need from this set. But not everything, obviously. So we're just gonna run it down and try and see what we can do. Oh boy. Lobby Lords. Yeah, what can you do? They are what they are. So we've got this Archangel. It's pretty solid. Knight of Dusk Shadow, also very good. Um, trying to see here if there's anything else that's like... Zaro Jenjin is pretty good. I think this is probably first pickable. Like, it puts us pretty solidly in Mardu, but 3-4 Flying Lifelinker for 4 seems pretty good. Um, yeah. Here we have Joyra. That's not really a card that's interesting in draft. Or, to be honest, in not draft. Terra Sunder, very good card. We've got Destroy Evils, alright. Flowstone Infusion. Relic just to fix. Relic's probably better in a slower deck. If we're playing like a Mardu deck where this is a top end, we kind of want like Destroy Evil or Mesa Cavalier. Let's take this Mesa Cavalier. Another flyer. Stone Infusion is also interesting. Uh, aggressive Sabotage is interesting here. We've got Citizen's Arrest. Just an Oblivion Ring effect that's very solid. It's Creature Planeswalker, so it doesn't hit anything, but it is pretty much what you want to use an Oblivion Ring for in Draft. So I think we will be taking that. That does give us another double white card, which means that we would basically be locking, you know, in my opinion, we'd basically be locking into white. I had a lot of success with Aggressive Sabotage in pre-release, but in draft I've not seen as much, so... Yeah. Let's take the Citizen's Arrest. Maybe be clinging a little bit much to we have our Gavian Phalanx, which is very solid. Divination is good. Reborn Repossession is solid. We've got this Geothermal Bog, which is fixing. I'm honestly like just. Oh, 
that would be speculative, really. Uh, let's take the geothermal bog. Just have a fixing land here. Goblin Picker is solid. Uh, this Furious Bellow is also pretty good. I don't really rate the Banalish Faith Bonder. It exists, but I don't I don't really rate it. And you have my Steel Crusher. It'd be nice to have pick up one of them, but we can pick up one before the end of the draft, so that's fine. And I rate the picker over the bellow to start. Um and here Griffin Protector I have seen be quite good in this set. There's also Battle Rage Blessing, which is okay. Nice black trick, but we don't necessarily... We're not necessarily running black yet. And that's like the kind of card where we want to kind of be running black a little bit more. We're not necessarily running red either. Vivisector. Let's take this Griffin Protector. Another flying threat. Here, a couple of picker, a couple of war brute. War brute is okay. Semi herbalist. I think I like. Yeah. This is interesting. Mindbreaker, that's actually a solid card. Monstrosity is also decent. Let's take this Berserker. Shadow Prophecy. I take Shadow Prophecy. Let's draw a spell. Just being able to draw a couple of cards. Uh, Librarian's okay. Steel Crusher here. Getting back into stuff that we've seen already. Could take the Branch Rider. Run out without the Kicker or this Tattered Apparition. I don't really rate the Apparition. I think we will take the, the Branch Rider. Maybe we don't play it. Maybe we do. Okay, it does look like our black is open. We'll take this aggressive sabotage here. Another branch rider or a smash to dust. Oops. Yeah, we'll take the axe. Rivaz. So that has some dragons stuff going on with it. Got Sprouting Goblin. Not really what we're looking for. Yoda to Krillers War. Again, not really what we're looking for. We've got Artillery Blast. That's a possibility. I like this just as a 3-3 Menace, honestly. It's double off color because we are like pretty heavily white. Artillery Blast would more solidify that like white is not a color people can pick here but i think we will take this river as <laughs> and a second one um lightning strike is probably a lightning strike twin inferno both of these very good red card very nice red cards coming around so we may yeah. I mean, I'm just going to snap off Lightning Strike here. White is actually getting pretty heavily picked, so we may not wind up running that. We may want to look for some dragons for Rivaz.
Horse's White is getting pretty picked out. I have War Horse Frenzy, which is pretty okay. Conflucent Forest. Just green fixing that we don't need. Like, I need that for Constructed, maybe. Or probably. But I don't need that in Draft. Here, we could get another Mesa Cavalier. But white is looking like our lightest color here. Looks like we're going, actually going like an aggressive, like a very aggressive build. War, where Warhost Frenzy might be better. Yeah, let's take the Frenzy. Nope. Let me get another semi turbolist in here. Hammerhand's okay. Thrill is okay. Caution Sky Knight. War Brute. Rager. So black is looking like our splash color. So if that's the case. I mean, we've got four black cards, one, two, three, four, five white cards. Yeah. So we're looking like Boros Splash Black. Take the warbird here. Let's take a charge. Our captain's call. I think we take the charge. Heroic charge. Uh, an artillery blast is very nice. for another very good trick. Um, I don't think we need it, but I will take an, a second aggressive sabotage. Yeah, I don't think we're playing any of this, but we may want to take that Splatter Goblin just in case. Same. There's an Abomination, okay. Cleveland Skyrider seems very good. Citizens of Rest is solid. Tory. That could come back around, honestly. This is a six mana removal spell. Where did we get this necro fucking garbage? I'm gonna take the scatter rider. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. Fires is definitely like you want blue for this card, but like also, I guess I guess you don't need blue for it. A second heroic charge is potential, but I think I'm gonna take this thing. Call it greed, you know, that's fine. Sacred peaks or a lightning strike. I think the that's that's the second lightning strike is really really good. I'm gonna take a second lightning strike. Here.
Fire Nova is solid. Garn is pretty good. We have two Lightning Strikes, a Twin Inferno, an Artillery Blast. I, th I think we are okay to just take this Garna. And run, like, super aggro. There's not really a ton here for us. I mean, nothing that I really want to take. This is the closest, and it's a 3-4 flyer for 5, right? So that's not really... an amazing card. Take this Captain's Call. Nice synergy with this Griffin Protector and what have you, so... Yeah, let's take that. Phalanx here seems seems decent. We could have all we could also take Battle Rage Blessing, but I think we want Phalanx over a trick. And we'll Horde Master, we don't have any goblin. Or we don't have a lot of goblins. Um I don't think like we could take a second goblin picker, but we're not trying to play the slow game. Second hammer hand. I'm gonna just get rid of half this, whatever. It's late enough that um uh, I'm not super concerned about that. Could run Baird. We have a lot of stuff that bumps the... I guess any enlist creature. There's a fire nato. That's nice. Uh, you can have just a creature, whatever. That's fine. So we're actually trying to kind of more boros than anything. The question becomes, is it worth running the black? And then we just have a geothermal block bog for this Archangel of Wrath, which is 14, a little light. We'd be running Sky Knight. Oh, it was a visual bug, okay. Run a little light on threes at that point. I think I like the black. So the question now becomes, what do we cut? Well, some of this stuff down here, most likely. That's just a lot of removal, a lot of non-creature stuff. Maybe just a stu so... Eighteen creatures. Okay. Um, something at four. Some stuff at four, because we have too much at four. Is this coalition thing? Uh, 
that dorky thing. thing. Like, we're trying to be aggressive, but that's a little much. I think. We didn't get any dragons for Rivaz, which is unfortunate, but a 3-3 Menace, I think, is, is good enough. Three. And it'll also make our opponents think twice. Um, and actually, I'm going to cut this Artillery Blast, because this is too defensive of a removal spell. We just got this Shadow Prophecy. Keep the Warhorse Frenzy. Yeah. That looks okay. I'm not, like, super keen on it. Really, sir? Really? Um, no. Okay. Question here is what do we put back? Put back the citizen's arrest? The double white card? And keep the rest. Yeah. Bring the bog. Picker or herbalist? Picker's better at guaranteeing us a land next turn. Herbalist is most likely to get in an attack if we play that. I'm going to go with the Herbalist here. Basically, if things go right, this is the best upside. Okay, like that. Do we need a swamp here? No. With black being our splash color, I think I'm going to put that to the bottom. And then we have the question of Rivaz or Cavalier. I'm going to go with this Rivaz. Like I said, a 3-3 Menace is a solid threat here. Certainly. Cavalier. Well, that's quite unfortunate. I'm going to run a Goblin Picker here. Um, hmm. Playing the land gives us Lightning Strikes up. 
This is feeling pretty bad. kill it in response to its own trigger because that gets rid of one of the triggers. You just pass here. Or it doesn't get rid of one of the triggers, it gets rid of one. It reduces the number of birds they create by one. The trigger is still there. This card is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, if it had, if it was missing the entire first ability, it would be fine. It would still be a playable card, but. No, it had to have... Sure, that's fine. They didn't have another one of these. So that's that's a okay by me. So we can hold that for a turn kick it and clear their aerial blockers or we can kick it now pick off one of the blockers yeah hopefully draw a land to kick this next turn and just Never mind, never mind. They have decent cards beyond the fucking beyond the stupid Just pass. Just pass. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely insane.
Okay, so we can kick a heroic charge here. This is instant speed. That's probably not going to be good enough after this turn. If we want any damage in, we have to kick this this heroic charge, and we want to preserve our board. Yeah, so this heroic charge is just kick it. Ooh, Xaxes. Yeah, they could have blocked any number of other ways, playing around Heroic Charge. But even if they play around Heroic Charge, Heroic Charge is still pretty brutal. And we also have the Double Strike trick if they block in a way that's like more, more conservative. But that was ridiculous. To play against that was ridiculous. And it was only on uh, a block by them that we won that game. Like a... a conservative block by them. Like, if they blocked with one of the, the defenders with more toughness instead, we would have gotten rocked, right? Because their next turn, they would have drained us for, like, six. Which is nuts. I don't really want to trade this picker. Um, I would really like to just. So let's just. I should. I should have done this first. Yeah, we need to loot. They're probably just gonna get in with their picker. Looting now for them seems a little. Dubious. Okay. No, they, they're going to miss. They were going to miss land drop. Okay. Um, here, I'm going to play my second planes and a Griffin Protector. And get in for two. Again, I, like I miss sequence that technically, but there's nothing in this format. Flowstone Infusion. We're not attacking with the picker, so let's loot first. Pitch of planes. Mountain. Play a mountain. Semi herbalist. Like that. Get in for three. And that is correct because the Griffin Protector triggers. Four mana. Oh, you are very silly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this opponent is running Shadow Right Priest, which I don't think is very good, particularly in. Like, I think that is. That's just not a good decision. So we need 
all that for this. So let's run out a Svamp. Let's go to combat. Let's crack in. Steel Crusher is not really what we're looking for here. And we're going to be drawing a couple of cards, so I'd rather just like dig further. Really, that's it? Well, if that's it, then I'm not doing that. I'll, I'll strike away your blocker. It was only uh, eight damage on the on the two that got that were getting through. Like that just seemed really strange. Like a really strange block. Sure. I mean, my attack probably telegraphed the fact that I have like some sort of anthem thing. Um, let's do it again. Bottom that. Well, kicked. And go. team. Five, six, eight. And we're getting in for three... here. Can flash this in and block. Are we on the defensive here? Are we the are we or are we going for lethal? This is five damage. I think we can take the five. I might have flow stone. Which means that this doesn't really matter. Now we should be good. Now we should be pretty much golden. They should be on the defensive. Because they're not going to kill us here.
temporal firestorm potentially just a sweep drag the bottom okay that's annoying very annoying phoenix chick and we drew a mountain okay They've had some very nice removal and a very good land base. Let's run this out. Yeah, it's really just the angel that saves us here. If they've got extra damage, we're screwed. Barna, sure. Yeah, that's not good enough. So yeah, they had very good fixing. We drew two lands at an inopportune time. Just just a really not a game we could have won. Like maybe maybe I should have looted with the uh maybe I should have held back a little bit on the the attacks rather than try and get in there with and and force out the exchange so that we can draw. You know, the first time we did that, they blocked in such a way that it didn't matter, right? And we spent our turn doing basically nothing. What was that, the previous game? No, that was this. That was that game. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably... We spent lightning strikes on removal instead of on... Uh, on their face. This is a keep for us. Like, the Citizen's Arrest is a little tough to play, but we've got Goblin Picker, we've got the Alchemist Steel Crusher. It should be fine. Now they do have tempo, which is a little unfortunate. Hopefully we can turn that on its head. Intriguing. They have nothing. Um, I don't think we want to loot. Well, not that they have nothing, but they have nothing that. We're going to get in with the Goblin Picker. Like, they might have Artillery Strike here, but if they do, that's fine. They might also have the Flash Flyer. Let's arrest their Herbalist. Like, just make the tempo play here. Yeah, they do have the Flash Flyer, okay. Play a Swamp here. 
strike down the Griffin Protector. Run out our own herbalist. Get him for two. Crusher, a land, and an Argaving Phalanx. We're not, we're not doing no attacks here. There is a Scepter, okay. Touch trick, like you'd have to sack two things to make this war horse live. And they can't do the death touch trick. They can sack one thing, they can trade the. Yeah. trade their vivisector for our steel crusher or a trick they do not there's the plains draw that Plain mountain beard make a soldier With three cards in hand, I'm a little worried because they are probably three colors and they just haven't drawn their third one. And they also don't have double black, which means that this this draw has been very bad for them. So we are playing against them on a bad draw. Like this keep cleaning Skyrider leads to the leads to they're probably Mardu. Which is really strange. Like we've played against three Mardu decks. That's just really weird. I'm okay trading this with, like, whatever they want to trade it for. Or want to trade for it. I will, however... Look to make sure there's nothing else we can do with it. Okay. All right. Totally fine. Okay. Um, we're just going to attack with this. It trades for anything they have. Yeah, that's fine. We'll trade off the Vivi Sector. Sage. 
enlisting the flame enlisting the flame sage goes to four digs four deep Yeah. And we will kick it. That's unfortunate. fine um is this lethal one two three four six seven eight nine ten eight, eight, fourteen minus four is ten so no this is six to plate and kick it so we don't have that at the moment. Let's run out the fire nato on the abomination. That's not what I want right now. Nope, that's okay. Cool. And they died. Did they die? If they kill one of our two twos, we've got three, six, ten. So Baird is very, very good. We just got that on a random pick pretty late. So that's very nice. Baird, 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 Baird. This is fine. This is a one into a two, or two into a three, sorry. Not one into a two, you know. Two into a three, which is fine. Nice opponent. Saying hello. Send herbalist. We're just going to get in. Fine by me. Do you want to block? They do. They want to block. Rivaz. The 3-3 three, three menace. You know, it's dumb. It doesn't do anything in our deck. 
it's just a 3-3 menace. But they don't know that, so they have to worry about all the time, all the text. Another vivisector, okay. So it makes sense why they were so willing to trade that one off. Do they have bone splinters here? They do, okay. Just very awkward, so I think we're just gonna run out this flame sage. So we can attack here. Do we want a Warhost's Frenzy or... Inferno. This was a bad attack. I need to be a little more patient. I just need to be a little more patient. My mom is screwing me up and I need to be a little more patient. Triple pump it. blocks because they can double bump.
or do that. Just running out of semi turbulist here and passing. Again, it's just it's a triple pump here, so. So this means they can't attack, but nothing beyond that. And we lose. Man, if I just fucking chilled out. <sighs> Chill out. Think through your lines. Look at your mana. God, that game was terrible. I played that game terribly, I should say. I played it really bad. Really, really bad. So, let's try and do this one a little bit better. Okay. Okay. This is the fourth Mardu deck in a row that we played, which, yeah, there's no deck-based matchmaking, right? You you will always play a random selection of who's available in the queue, not anything based on your deck at all, right? We played one deck which had, like, blue stuff in it, but this is the, the fourth Mardu deck we've played. The third Marty deck we've played. At a minimum. Arrest that gorilla. And again, and we're just going to hold back here. I don't really want to trade for their tokens. That's a strange attack. That's a really funny looking attack. That's so that's so weird. Like what are you what are you doing? What, you got a trick? Go ahead, trick. There's no ninjutsu in this format. I'm not I'm just not scared of it. If it was ninjutsu, you would have attacked with the what with the other one. It goes for hammer hand now? What? I just I d I don't but bleh bleh, bleh bleh What? We're gonna hold out for the kicker on Archangel. Yeah. Maybe double kicker even. Hopefully we if we want to do that, we hopefully draw a red source here. We will be blocking this turn. Our opponent's attack last turn looked ridiculous, by the way. Look, another tattered apparition. Like, this is... Yeah. I hate to harp on it, but, like, playing this many Marty decks in a row against you're not enlisting with that oh they are enlisting okay weird it didn't show the thing this is probably the indestructible trick I'm going 
gonna cycle this basically. That is what we were looking for. Garna. Next turn we can hopefully double kick this um, Archangel and make them cry. They got a Bone Splinters. That's what that looked like. It was them looking at their token in our Garna as like a Bone Splinters thing. No. Bang! Okay, so we're out of gas. Oh my god. One, two, three. I mean, we've also drawn nothing, so that's just unfortunate. But their ability to kill everything. That was an interesting good game from them. Was it them saying good game because they were forced to play out Love Song of Night and Day? Now we could just dump our hand on the battlefield. I'm not super keen on that because we've seen the domain sweeper. Before, like there are sweepers in this format. I think that is this this is five, six, ten, twelve. Yeah, this would be this will be lethal on board if oh, eleven. Yeah, this will be lethal on board if we charge next turn and they do nothing. Maybe it's too cautious. Mary 
there's Outrider. Yeah, it's probably too cautious. We probably should have just... Now they've got something on the board, though. I'm much less afraid of this. Keep that on top. Trample doesn't do anything here, so we're just going to run this out unkicked. Temporal Firestorm is like the only card I can think of that would get them out of this now. Or a bunch of shitters. A bunch of little dorks. We should have probably dug for a Lightning Strike. Instead of uh, putting the Captain's Call on top. But Captain's Call does let us rebuild if they do sweep, is my, was my thinking. Six three. We go to nine. Six seven. Can take five deep for a lightning strike. To Inferno. That'll do it. Boom. Hey. Oh, look. The pretty little teardrop. Um, yeah, keep on, keep on rolling. In the silver now, so people are going to be better. Uh, unlike this hand, which is worse. Or this, this hand, which is also really bad. Oh look, we get to keep a five card hand. Excellent. This phalanx isn't gonna be. Yeah. I mean at this point we're basically at zero chance of winning. Right. We're going to have to get, like, three for ones out of all our cards. And that's pretty unlikely. Just going to pass here. Yeah. 
This game was over when our first hand didn't work. Tempo, I'm totally fine with them playing for. Like, I, that's, like, A-OK -okay by me. As long as it's not actually costing us cards. So they played out the Tura Kenarid. Kenarid. Which leads me to believe they wouldn't sweep that turn, but then stall for time's not sweeping. And stall for time doesn't if they don't develop their board, which is frightening. Basically, the longer they play without developing their own board, the scarier it is for me. So we could Garna here, or Warhost's Frenzy. I think Garna attack, they have to double block Tori or Goblin Picker. Just fire NATO this uh, lookout and get in with Ravaz. Definitely not that. I need a white source. a white source. I'm just going to take them to two. Bang, bang. And next turn we can Citizens Arrest and Trumpet Blast. And they should die. Okay, they're still dead on board. And they're dead.
All right. When your opponent's entire game plan is control and none of their cards are true card advantage for them, none of their removal is hard removal, um, you can get by with a hand that is less than playable or less cards, I should say. Yeah, less cards. It's just a lot of cards that they played that didn't cost us card advantage, right? They didn't cost us the ability to play the game. Gablin Picker. Picker. Good picker. We're looking for a second white source. Yikes. All right. Sandwich Herbalist. Oh, my God. Oh, we are so dead. <laughs> We're dead. It's just dead. It's ridiculous. Take my free block. You don't get to decide the enlist afterwards, so that's fine. Go to my turn. I think this is Black Source. Kicks. This thing has like never lived past entering the battlefield, which is ridiculous. I mean, it it's not really ridiculous, it's just... It is what it is. <sighs> Am I alive? Am I alive? Come on. Don't have some more ridiculousness. Don't have another, like, captain's call or some such nonsense. Okay, that's, that's some such nonsense. I mean, I, I, I don't know what you want me to do. This is ridiculous. Eat that. Trade that. Take eight. Five. shitting me. <sighs> that 
card destroyed me. Okay, we got back most of what we put in. All right, that was that one. Uh, interesting, we played against a bunch of Mardu decks, which is kind of strange. I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of strange that we played a Mardu deck and played it against a bunch of Mardu decks, so. I guess it's random, so anything can happen, but still. I hope you guys enjoyed those games. Uh, they, were, they were pretty decent. Um, and I'll uh, hope to see you next time. Um, yeah, and anything you can do for like engagement on these is really cool. So, comment.